Throughout this presentation, we will be discussing technological determinism and how it has influenced our society. It is suggested by Thorstein Veblen that the increase of technology and expansion of technological devices has become the main discussion in the controversial debate surrounding the social and historical evolution, also known as technological determinism. Theorists Smith and Marx address both arguments for and against the ideas surrounding technological determinism. These views are predominantly shaped by the social construction of technology and the change in the way that societies view technological and cultural determinism. Technological determinism is supported by theorists Watt and White who suggest that the extensive use and growth of technological devices within our contemporary society have caused a dampen within families' communication skills. Persons now excessively consume technology which interrupts activities where technology is in fact not relevant. This can be seen throughout the change and disruption in family simplistic routines and the communication levels between family members and the outside world. The extent of information consumed is changing family cultures and dynamics, negatively impacting families who are excessively using devices such as computers, televisions and mobile phones, potentially resulting in the isolation of family members from one another. Due to this widespread access to technology, isolation can expand throughout families, which then is not only affecting their communication levels, but also negatively affecting their outside world responsibilities. Technological determinism is suggested to signify the loss of humanity and face-to-face -face communication, increasing the notions that technology has created a form of alienation. The increase in technology has majorly impacted our socialization skills within our society. Yet this lack of socialization hasn't just recently formed throughout the revolutionary period of technology, but instead began throughout the earlier forms of technology, including newspapers and radios. Therefore, this technological innovation period has just increased the beliefs towards the need and reliance of technology, which in some cases are majorly exemplified throughout the effect it has on social groups' behaviours, morals and communication skills. Additionally, it has shaped our society to the extent of the ways in which we teach. This increase in technology throughout the education system has enabled information to be sourced quickly and efficiently, as well as the creation of new information. It has also changed the curriculum in schools, with children consistently learning how to effectively use this technology in order to be set with enough basic knowledge to join further workforces. This emphasis on technology has allowed for quick and easy access of information yet has also created a lack in one's own knowledge. This is apparent throughout the lack of cognitive skills, including the ways in which technological devices using autocorrect has obtained people's spelling capabilities, leading to the decrease of effective communication skills. In conclusion, the public debate and arguments surrounding the ideologies of technological determinism still exist in today's societies. This theory still questions how and why technology has affected and influenced consumers' behaviour, attitudes and communication skills. This increase of technological devices has led to the different opinions between the need for technology to perform jobs and complete daily activities within the 21st century, in comparison to previous centuries where advanced technological devices were not a high demand. In summary, technology has had a major impact on our daily performances, activities and job opportunities, it has assisted and shaped the technological culture allowing us to have such fast access to. Just ask yourself, how much technology is too much technology? And what are you watching this presentation on right now? Thank you.